Hello, wonderful students. I welcome you to yet another intriguing class in government. In today's lesson, I will be exposing you to the topic Republican Constitution of 1963. We shall be looking at the various features, merits, and the demerits of the Republican Constitution of 1963. First of all, let's look at the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to discuss the features of Republican Constitution, explain the merits of Republican Constitution, discuss the demerits of Republican Constitution, and then highlight the functions of the president under the 1963 Republican Constitution. Now, what is the Republican Constitution of 1963 all about? The Prime Minister and the regional premiers met in May 1963 to discuss constitutional issues, and they agreed to set up an all-party constitutional conference. And this party met, this conference held in July 1963 and came up with what has become the Republican Constitution of 1963 making provision for the president and the prime minister. What are the various features of the 1963 Republican Constitution? Having the president as well as the prime minister, what functions did the president perform? What were the functions of the prime minister within the 1963 Republican Constitution? And let's look at the features one after the other. First, the f one of the major features of the Constitution was that it gave room for Republican form of government. A change to a Republican form of government backed up with a new Constitution. That is, instead of the 1960 independent Constitution, Nigeria became fully independent. Whereas, in, as of 1960, we were not fully independent. Again, the system retained parliamentary system of government. That is, the parliamentary system of government where the head of state is different from head of government was retained. The head of state was the president, while head of government was the prime minister in the person of Tafawa Bandewa and head of state was the president, Inamdi Azikiwe. Again, the president in the person of Inamdi Azikiwe being the head of state and the queen of England as a result ceased from being the head of state as different from the 1960 when the queen of England was the head of state and represented by the governor general. Now, there was no position of governor general rather there was position of the president who was the head of state and replaced the Queen of England. Again, the National Parliament was made up of 44 Senate members and 312 members of the House of Representatives. So these were the numbers of persons that made up the national lawmaking body, which is the National Parliament. Aside that, the Constitution also made provision for the election of the president. The president is usually elected through a secret ballot system for five years by a joint sitting of the Senate and the House of Representatives. So the president was elected for a period of five years. And the election is usually conducted within the national parliament by the members of the national parliament. Again, the president carries out certain functions, which is which are the ceremonial functions, being the head of state. Apart from that, the president was also the commander in chief of the armed forces. He has the power to appoint judges and also has the power to declare state of emergency. So 
he was the head of state. Again, the prime minister, within the provision of the 1963 Republican Constitution, was the head of government. You can see the picture of the prime minister, Sir Abu Bakr Tafawa Banewa. He was the head of government and carries out the state executive functions. He was the head of the executive as well as a member of the legislature. So that is what parliamentary system entails. Again, one of the features of the 1963 Republican Constitution was that there was no judicial service commission. The president usually appoints judges on the advice of the prime minister. The prime minister would advise the president, sometimes forward names to the president, those that are needed to be appointed, and then the president usually appoints judges based on the advice of the prime minister. Again, with the 1963 Republican Constitution, the prime minister could be removed from office through a vote of no confidence. And when a vote of no confidence is passed, it is expected that both the prime minister and every member of his cabinet should tender their resignation. More so, the 1963 Republican Constitution made it possible for the British Privy Council to cease from being the highest court in Nigeria. Rather, the highest court in Nigeria, starting from the Republican Constitution, was the Supreme Court. It became the highest and the final court in the Federation, thanks to the Republican Constitution of 1963. The 1963 Constitution also spells out the rights of the citizens, the citizens' rights, their duties and obligations, those things that are expected from the citizens of the country. The Constitution protected the rights, the fundamental human rights of the citizens. So it was a constitution that was fully homemade. Now let's look at the various merits of the Republican Constitution. One, it provided Republican form of government. There was an elected president. It was homemade. Supreme Court became the final court. It made provision for fundamental human rights. In fact, there was power of judicial review and the constitution was indeed free from external interference as different from the 1960 constitution that experienced external interference. And some of the demerits include that there was supremacy of the parliament instead of the constitution and the prime minister was accountable to the parliament and not the people. Again, there was lobbying, bribery, and corruption. There was also a fusion of the executive and the legislative. And also, there was too much cross-carpeting from one political party to another in order for politicians to get cheap rewards. Now, let's look at the functions of the president under the 1963 Republican Constitution. What were the functions of the president? You must take note that the president performed ceremonial functions as head of state. Again, he dissolves the House of Representatives after a vote of no confidence is passed. So when a vote of no confidence is passed, it is the function of the president to dissolve the parliament. Again, other functions include that he approves the prime minister's nominees, he has sent into laws or bills passed by the parliament. He addressed the parliament at the beginning and at the end of every legislative year. He has the power to he has the power of prerogative of mercy to pardon offenders. He had the power to declare a state of emergency and he approved treaties. In conclusion, the Republican Constitution of 1963 gave Nigeria full independence without any form of foreign interference. Lastly, the system of government was parliamentary, which made the prime minister head of government, while the president was head of state and commander-in-chief of the armed forces. This is all I have for you today, till we meet in our next class. Goodbye.